Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Um, let me know where you all are. Say assalamu alaikum, uh, where you're from. Uh, how is it all there? Just let us know, inshallah. If you are if you are watching right now, please let me know. Wait a minute, Layla. Please let us know where you're all coming from and what you are doing, inshallah, and how you all are all doing. I do apologize because I know we should have started uh, uh, earlier that, you know, my landlady came, so I have to pay the rent. <laughs> so I had to delay so the talk. I was going talk. to tell you two stories about Islam because I know a little bit about Islam. So I'll go ahead and say it. So the first thing that I want to say is something about my mom. When she was little so when she was little did you guys know that she was actually christian and when she was a teenager but people i just want to tell you people can change they can change my mom <laughs> changed they can inshallah they can change into christian muslim muslim yes i came from christian and i became a muslim she lived in england Chris Ah, I just want to tell you, Canada is a Canadian place, but we live there. Muslim, I know about, thank you about my veil, but Muslims can, can change into Christians. Muslims. No, no, Christians can change into Muslims. Yeah, and Muslims, Muslims, they can live in Canada. That's right, Muslims live all over, don't they? Okay, so, sorry, she will pop... the last one, that... What was that I going to say? I can't remember. Okay. So, she she will... She she will probably chat to you a little bit during got this it. session. I got it. Let me just say, Assalamu alaikum to some people. Gazlo, Gazlo, mashallah, shukra, jazakallah, khair, ya brother, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, bedra, heldik. Iskovic, Salam alaikum. How are you doing? So please say salams in the comment, and we will give you a shout out as we're going yeah. along. And uh, um, you will see a lot more, I'm sure, from Layla. She's um, she likes to say salam alaikum to you all. So it's trending Tuesdays, and we have some really nice uh, stories today. Salam alaikum, Chloe Cerise. How are you doing, sister? Um, well. Uh, yes, yeah, so I do apologize for the delay. We should have started a little bit earlier, but you know, I do have rent to pay and my landlady came, so I have to um, pay. And she's a lovely, sweet lady. Actually, she was asking me, do Muslims, uh, because you know, we're in Canada and the vast majority of people here are probably Christian of the Christian faith, if, if they are of any faith. So she was asking me if, um, <clears throat> we celebrate Christmas so I, I was telling her no we don't but um, we do believe in Jesus as a prophet um, peace be upon him and um, contrary to any any uh, thing that she may have found out we don't like um, we don't we're not offended if we see Christmas trees we're not offended at Christmas cards anything like this so she was asking me a lot of questions and of course, because I am from, um, my family are Christian, she was asking me if, if you know, we, we were doing um, anything to celebrate, but I was telling her, no, no, we won't do anything. But usually before now, I used to go, go to my family just to have dinner with them, yes, but we're not doing anything religious of that kind. So it's a really nice time to talk to people when they ask you these questions, we can use it as a really good gateway to asking why uh, or, or explaining more about Islam. And I don't know why somebody's giving us an angry face because I'm telling you this. This is actually a good way of doing dawah, subhanAllah, because, you know, people ask us these things, especially if we're living in the West. And, and send it as one second. So we can then... Um, explain what Muslims believe in and no we're not offended at every single thing that the media likes to pretend we are offended at subhanAllah. So salamu alaikum Adnan Laminu how are you doing brother? Hi Adnan Abilu. 
جزاك الله خير ادنان السلام عليكم هل حاجي با السلام in the comments if you have a daughter or son I think a lot of people are quite young, Leila. They might not even have any children. Okay, just tell us. So let's go to the first story. That I was going to say. So the first story that I was going to say, then I have ten more stories. There. Well, I don't okay. think we have time for all ten stories because okay, we have to go through I some. Can do them. like nine or or three or whatever you wish. So the second story that I was going to say was. Cats. People can have a cat. We have a cat. She's being a naughty girl right now. She's hiding from you, I think. Yes, that deserves her. So, so if you have a cat, just tell us, and we'll tell you the ingredients for it. The ingredients for a cat. Anyway, Salam. Yeah. Al- uh-huh. No, wait a minute. I need to read the comments. Salam alaikum, Ben Hanun Utu. Bless you and and bless you, dear sister. Don't be sad because you know, lots of people are going to cry. I have to talk to the people as well because they want to see you and they want to say salam alaikum. So you don't need to cry, do you? Don't be silly. So she she's sad because she wants to tell you about the ingredients of a cat. <laughs> But actually, her cat story is right on to a very good point that I want to talk to you about. And that is, we got a question, and I'm not a, I'm not a scholar, so please you don't... You took my story. I didn't take your story. You told them about your cat. Now we have to talk about these stories as well, okay? No, how many are there? Never mind. You can have your comments as well. Now, the uh, somebody asked us, does touching a dog nullify wudu or ablution? It does. No, it doesn't. <laughs> so, I'm not a scholar, but I'm going to answer what Sheikh Abdul Bari Zamzami um, answered. And he's, he's actually from the Moroccan Scholar, Scholars Association. Um, he, he said that touching a dog does not nullify ablution because acts that nullify ablution are well known and touching a dog is not one of them. Living animals such as dogs are not um, impure and it it is reported in Al-Bukhari in his Sahih that dogs used to enter the mosque of the Prophet and then come out again. So that indicates that, you know, it's okay. Uh, of course, there is the whole um, issue of can we have dogs as pets? Um, and you can read in the link that Sister Tammy um, will will um, drop. He does mention this, but we are only supposed to have dogs as guard anim- guarding, guarding purposes, so for security, for farming, and things like this. So you can read more about that in there, but this was one of our most asked, most popular questions of the week, actually, um, from our Ask the Scholars, that was touching a dog, does it nullify or do? And of, according to the, the Sheikh, no, because we all know what does nullify or do, um, and as it, as it is reported in Al Bukhari, um, dogs used to enter the mosque of the Prophet and then come out again. So, you know, that's that's how it is. Of course, if you've heard of different opinion or anything like that, that's all good because we have four big imams, four big scholars, and you know, there are opinions, different opinions differing and so on. So I'm not a sheikh, I can't answer more than that, but you can have a look on on the um, link and you will see, inshallah. Just give me a second um, and I'm gonna go on to the next story, which is, <laughs> come and say now, I don't know what I was going to say. Right, if you don't know what you're going to say, I need to talk. Okay, because you, people are waiting say, and it's not say, fair. So the next, you, the next point is, there is um, a Muslima, a Turkish Muslima, and she is an astrophysicist, mashallah. And she's always been interested in um, astronomy I'll since... She's always been interested in astronomy since she was a child. 
um, and when she started to look at the night sky that was full of stars and this really interested her and it really made her you know uh, interested in this field her name and I'm so sorry for our Turkish followers because I'm not sure how to pronounce this name but her name is Bursin Mutlu Pakli or Pakli I'm so sorry I'm not sure how to say that um, but she went over to the US and um, she started doing a lot of studying about it there. Actually, she has now um, a, a rare double ring of stars at 359 million light years away from us, named after her, mashallah. So during her um, doctoral, doctoral studies in the US, she discovered um, this new galaxy, I suppose. It's called the galaxy PGC 1714, which has been nicknamed Bursin's Galaxy. And she has also been named in the 2018 10 Outstanding Young Persons of the World Academic Leadership and Accomplishment. So that's a really lovely story. <coughs> Excuse me, and a really, a really positive story for all young Muslims. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Out there, so that should show you that no matter what your dream is, no matter how far away you think it is, like a galaxy far, far away. Excuse the Star Wars pun, but <laughs> I laugh at myself. <laughs> It was very bad, I know. <laughs> but really, seriously, she's really took it to another level and she's discovered this fantastic new galaxy, mashallah. So good luck. <coughs> May Allah bless her. Excuse me, I'm now coughing. Because <coughs> we've all been very ill in our house. <laughs> I was ill yesterday and I didn't like it because my throat was very hurting me. It was. She was poorly yesterday. Um she was ill but alhamdulillah she's much better so let me say salams to some of you kulsum malik salams um salam amy how are you doing adnan says mashallah may the almighty bless our young sister jazakallah khair brother that's to you he's saying that may allah Thank also you. bless you brother as do you well. have a kid just tell us in the comments come and see because they can't see you i know they can't they like him I'm just writing my story so I can explain it to you and like my mother does. Khan Imran, well, uh, assalamu alaikum, how are you Islamic sister? I'm fine brother, how are you brother? Assalamu alaikum, You're, you guys put a smile on my face and little princess you are awesome, cheer up. <laughs> Jazakallah khair, she, she, la she really loves to speak to all of you, she really does. Um, but you know she's any other five-year-old who's just knelt on my foot <laughs> um she's uh she's a bit active so you do have to apologize uh sometimes let, let, let's let's not get too much in the way i need to read my notes so they no, don't like don't lean on the laptop to write you'll close the whole system off and then everyone will wonder where we are so that's that so nora nora thank you for that nora nora when the dog is in the house, the angels do not enter exactly, but there are some dogs that we're allowed to keep, like guard dogs and so on, but these obviously are for outside. Um, thanks for doing this. You're welcome. Thank you. Salam al Doja. How are you doing? Uh, you're making everyone laugh here, Layla. That's nice, isn't it? Why? Because you're funny. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you recover soon. Jazakallah khair, sister. I hope, I, I hope we all recover soon, don't we? No. You want to be poorly? No, of course not. I do. So people can give me toys. Nobody's giving you toys for being poorly. <laughs> oh no, don't, don't show that face. Assalamu alaikum. Jaz, Jasmine, how are you, sister? Jazakallah yeah. uh, khair. No, Hi, no. Jasmine. Uh, Wait, Nayla, you all. Where is you. Jules? Jules is there. Can you see Jules? Say Hi, Jules. Yeah, I'm, I love you the best. Oh, she loves you the best. I put. Salam alaikum, Diane. Well, yeah. Salam alaikum, Diane. How are you doing? 
Charlotte, she's a chatterbox. You would worry if she was silent. I would. I would, Charlotte. When she's silent, it means two things. One, she's up to something. That's not good because she's getting into trouble somewhere. And two, <laughs> she's 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 not very well or you know she's tired or something usually when she's tired we should we get the bit of wetness. actually it's almost six o'clock here because it's night it my is, dad is not here yet it's almost six o'clock here yes in the evening salam alaikum jules miss you so much too how are you doing sister salat hamza you are sick god heal you inshallah jazakallah khair brother um Yes, so let's get on to the next story. And then I'll say my story because I've almost done it. Jazakallah. Um, and Jules, Jules, can you tell how you spell your name? She sits there, look, and she's saying, Hi, Layla, love you so much. Me too. Right. So it's okay. The next story is amazing facts about the carbon and this was one of our top stories of the week and it really is fantastic so we all know the carbon we've all seen it maybe we've seen it in real life or maybe we've only had the maybe we've been blessed enough to see it in real life or maybe we've only been blessed to see it on the tv or internet okay and... you say this one more story because i'm done my my story okay let me say these first so inshallah all of you will get to see this beautiful Kaaba, inshallah. You'll see me every time, <coughs> but when my mom does like a live session, so maybe she won't. You won't see me because then I'll be at school. It depends when we do them. Madrasa, if you talk. Madrasa, yes. But let's talk about the Kaaba. So it has very wondrous secrets housed within its walls, mashallah. I'm only going to go through three, but on the actual link, you will see 10. And they are amazing. So please check it out. First of all, did you know, and some of you may know this, that the black stone is not a single piece. The sacred black stone that is attached to the southeastern cornerstone of the Kaaba is 30 centimeters in diameter and 1.5 meters off the ground. It was originally one, one stone but was broken during various raids like the Karamation uh, raid in 930 mm. AD. So that's one of the amazing facts about the black stone. I've, I've been to Umrah, alhamdulillah, and I saw the Kaaba and we did all the, um, everything that we should do. But <clears throat> what we didn't, I didn't get to see the black stone. But if any of you have seen it, let us know, because I bet it's amazing, mashallah. Inside the Kaaba, there is a niche where Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, used to... Um, inside the Kaaba, there is a niche where Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam um, used to pray. So actually, Where did he pray? Inside the Kaaba. So inside uh. the Kaaba, it is actually infused with a mix of musk and authentic sandalwood perfumes. Which if you is, look closer, my eyes are rubbing. Let me read this. Which is reapplied throughout the year. Floors are made of white marble framed by four meter high rosewood. It's icy near my school near the wood. We're not it's talking really about your school, we're talking about oh. the park. Floors are made of white marble framed by four meters of uh, high rosewood and marble running parallel to the walls. At the inner entrance located in the back of the carver, there is a niche where Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam performed his prayers and the floor where he did perform his prayers is actually in a different coloured marble. And the last fact that I'm going to speak about, because there are more than that, on the right side of the interior is a staircase leading to the roof, roof assess, accessed through a door known as the door of repentance. The stairs that lead to the roof of the Kaaba are made mostly of aluminium. So you can find lots of interesting facts about the Kaaba, inshallah, if you just <coughs> click on Almost that link. Right I, I will let Layla now do her story. Okay, so the first one. Okay, this is about one of you. So 
This is about jewels. So jewels, so people can love each other. Like I like Auntie Tammy and I like jewels the best and Auntie Tammy the best, both of them. I like my parents so much. So you can love everybody. You love your family, you love your parents, you love your friends. You love everybody, don't you? Yes, well, we have to love as much. We should love people rather than hate people, shouldn't we? Well, well, the next story is about ice. Ice? Yeah, it says about ice in my school. It doesn't have an end, it just says ice my school. <laughs> so, at my school, I, I actually have a lot of ice near the woods, okay? So I try to walk here like a penguin, just like this, and like walk like an airplane. And the next story is about, what's this one about? That's about jewels. This next story is about me and my dad. So my dad is just like me because he's more browner. He's from where? Egypt. Egypt. I'm from Egypt and I'm from England. She's half, half Egyptian, half British, aren't you? Yeah. Yes. You can carry on with your story. I'll just write one more. Okay. So, gonna so I'm going to one. say salam alaikum and read the comments. Jazakallah here for the heart, Jules. Sorry, Thank you, predict. Jules. Hello again, sis. I hope you are well. I kissed the black stone. Masha'Allah, Jasmine. Um, that's amazing, Masha'Allah. Hi, Jasmine. You know there's a princess in Disney called Jasmine. You like Disney, don't you? Yeah, I like Jasmine. And, but and my favourite princess is Rapunzel and Elsa no, no. Yes. But I you, like Elsa the best. But she hasn't seen Aladdin yet, or Aladdin. Aladdin uh, with I the watched princess it Jasmine. in Egypt. Oh, have you? Okay, yeah. yes. So we like Jasmine. We like Princess Jasmine, don't yeah, we? Yeah, so, I do. Uh, What's your favourite princess? My favourite princess? Oh, I don't know, Layla. Is it Jasmine? No, I like all of them. They're all strong women, aren't they? Yeah, they're not women, they're like teenagers. Okay. So I'm going to write my story and my mom's going to do a short I movie. am being educated on Disney princesses, subhanAllah. <laughs> Me too. Um, well, I'm not a uh, So Charlotte Jules is saying hello to you. Thank God all is well, inshallah. You had a great day. Jasmine, it was so Hi, hard. Hi, Auntie Tammy. It, you say I like. I love, love you, you little, little Layla. Layla, good girl. And Jasmine says it was it was so hard, it was like a war zone near it, brothers pushing, people on the floor getting stepped on. It was a struggle but worth it. MashaAllah, sister, did you, did you do it in Umrah or did you manage to do it in Hajj, inshallah, subhanAllah. Nora, Nora, that's so wonderful. Thank you for sharing. Tell us in the corner of you live in Canada. Yes, Nora, um, it, it's a very good article, so please go on there and um, have a look. Oh, Habib, to God bless you. This is from Jules. Uh, um, right, Jasmine, she's too cute. <laughs> yes, well, sorry about that, everyone. <laughs> um, no, it's okay. It's about me. <laughs> so Jasmine is saying you're so adorable, mashallah. Thank so are you, you Jasmine. I'm mashallah. five, almost six, because... When it's my birthday, it's going to be Christmas Eve. Because I, sometimes I say to my friends, Christmas Eve. <laughs> Christmas Eve. <laughs> She's born on the 24th of December. And yes, that is, of course, if you're living in the West, Christmas Eve. So, but she was born on uh, the 24th of December. Right. I'm not talking about... No, don't thing. put the pen in your eye, you'll poke yourself in it. Yeah, I don't like poking. <laughs> right, the next, what, the next article I really want to highlight is if any of you are young people, which I'm sure most of you are, um, and when I say young, I have to say 25 or below, I'm afraid. So and then mine, if, you're, if you're older than that, this really shouldn't... Have, actually, you can still look, because maybe you don't know... Um, you don't know the answers hmm. to these questions. So we have a fantastic article that was actually put together by uh, our sister Tammy and uh, as well as 
uh, our family and society team about thank you for the hearts and there is some things about jasmine ex no jules exploring things yes um uh, on on questions that most young people i hope you ask, do questions about me and they don't no they're not asking questions about you let me speak oh. about this please. at least they're saying I'm so the the, the, que the, que the questions that most young people ask and they might feel afraid to ask their parents or they're hearing wrong information from their friends or you know they're getting the stuff on the internet and we're never all sure what kind of um is the truth on the internet it can take a lot of searching and so on i'm not going to answer i'm not going to answer these questions you have to go on the link to get the answer answers to them because a lot of them obviously are answered by scholars but the kind of questions like that you may ask the kind of questions like why can't i be just friends with the opposite gender you know, we have a lot of this in the West, and growing up as a as a Westerner um, before Islam, I was I was before I converted. Um, there was no issue really of being friends with the opposite sex. There was never an issue of being friends with boys, and so on. Guess where my <laughs> mom and dad Layla, got married? Layla, 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 Layla. They got married at Egypt. Yes, and my grandma and grandpa actually was at their wedding let me talk about this so um growing up in the west as a non-muslim i yeah. uh, i there was no problem really for us to have friends who are boys or to have friends who are girls and i remember when i first um was interested in islam it was the first question that i was asking or oh, you know what what's the big deal why can't you be friends with a boy or why can't you be friends with a girl now my husband put it plainly and maybe a lot of <clears throat> brothers might agree even sisters actually is that because in a man's mind it's never just as friends you know if you are interested in in a, in a woman to to want to be friends it's always looking for the next step it's never just going to be, in his mind at least, platonic. And it doesn't work like that. And What's of course, platonic? Uh, just, to, to, just to be friends. So, uh, the, of course, there is uh, the hadith as well that when a man and a woman's in the room together, there is always a third one. So, we are warned about that. But you can read a lot more about that um, in this link. I mean, we're not blocked the camera because people won't see me. Hello. The next question as well is, what about smiling decently at the opposite gender to avoid rudeness? So again, I'm not answering from their point of view. You have to go on the link. Okay, but, I'm on, you're Layla, almost done because I want is, to talk about Layla, don't them. interrupt me, please. You have to learn to wait a little bit. Smiling decently to the opposite, to, at the opposite gender to avoid rudeness. Are we allowed to do this? Again, you can click on the link to find out. What about if you're about to move to university or you are at university and you're dealing with the opposite gender? How do you deal with the opposite gender if you are about to move to university or you're moving to university soon? Um, how does that happen? There are some tips on that. You need to click onto this link to find out. How much can I socialize with the opposite gender without sinning? Now that's a good one because a lot of young people nowadays, they're not thinking about, you know, they're, they're, it's big groups. You see big groups of people going out. So what can, what is allowed and what isn't allowed? Again, you can click on the link to find out the answer to that. Physical contact between friends of opposite sex, why not? Of course, we should know the answers to these, but a lot of people don't, especially if they're being brought up I'm in the West and you're getting conflicting information about what is okay and what's not. These are good questions and these are questions that the youth, the young people are asking and want to know the answers to. Why can't a Muslim girl have a boyfriend? Actually, why can't a Muslim boy have a girlfriend? It's not just the same, right? It's not just... Muslim girls who shouldn't have boyfriends. Muslim. Well, my mommy saying that I can't have a boyfriend. No, you're not allowed a boyfriend. Muslim boys. Why is I'm little? Muslim when boys. I'm big. Muslim boys shouldn't have girlfriends either. It works both ways. And you can also. What about if you have a crush on someone? Of course, when you're teenage years or you're a young person, you develop a crush on somebody. You start to like them. How do you deal with that? 
uh, we have some tips so click on this link it's really useful and what about if you are in a haram relationship and you want to be able to stop it how can you stop it we have some tips for that as well and much much more for example you have a crush on your what teacher. time is it there it's almost six o'clock it is almost six o'clock you have a crush on your ah. teacher how do you deal with it dancing what is allowed what is not and so on this is a really useful link so please feel free to to um go on the link click and you will find 20 questions that are most ah. asked by young people and you can find out as well how to deal with pornography addiction on there and um, if, if somebody's watching this if you know of somebody who's having an issue with this please go over there we are trying to reach out to young people to help them with issues that they are facing in society today because of course there's lots and you can find so many inf so much information on the internet but what's right and what's not and let's face it how many young people are going to go to their parents and say to them why can't we have a boyfriend or why can't we have a girlfriend you know <laughs> yeah if your parents are quite open-minded they might ask that but a lot of people they don't want to tackle these questions so this is a fantastic page for you to try and get the answer to these questions in shot a lot and i think S sister tammy has put that up there hi diane the time here is almost six o'clock we are in new brunswick in canada my time is afraid if my dad's coming because sometimes he says moo when he comes in. <laughs> yeah, and he doesn't know we're doing this, does it? Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh Khan Nazami. MashaAllah, you are so. Hi. He's saying to you, MashaAllah, you are so adorable. Don't hurt your eyes. Exactly, because you put the pen there, and then we don't want you to do that. Anyway, I don't want my eyeballs to go further down. No. Assalamu alaikum, Sophia. How are you doing, Hi, sister? Hi, Sophia. I She's want saying that you. you are cute. Thank you. I just wanted to tell you that there's a princess called Sophia as well. There is a princess and called Sophia. A, and there's a princess called Jasmine. Everybody, I'm so happy that your name are princesses. You have to be a princess if your name I are think, the same. I think probably all Sophia and Jasmine and all the sisters watching, they're all uh, beautiful, beautiful um, How beautiful queens, beautiful aren't they, and sisters and princesses. Hamza, God bless you, Leila. Jazakallah khair, brother. Thank you, Hamza. Jasmine. You know, I have a friend called Hamza. You do, yes. He, he, he's, uh, he's one of his daddy's friend's son. Yeah. Jasmine says she went to Umrah last December, and that was my second time. Masha'Allah, Masha'Allah, Inshallah. The next time you go, dear sister, will be for Hajj, Inshallah. And we, and we hope we have, you have another lovely day there. Uh, Ahmed, which, which Ahmed, country is she going to? It's Saudi Arabia is where they Saudi do have. Arabia. Ahmed is saying it's 22.54. Where are you, brother? Where are you? What about older sister and brothers? It's always wrong. Well, these do apply on all of us. I have Dr. Pepper. These mom. do apply on all of us, sister. So you can actually uh, have a look and you can actually... Um, uh, check the answers because it does apply on all of us but we are trying as well to reach out as much as we can to muslim youth i can because... jasmine says to me that you're a princess too layla she does say that because um if you think about it we need to educate the younger generation so they're not lost and so they don't end up doing a lot of things and i think a lot a lot of people nowadays if you don't know my name it's it's Layla, and if you're new, it's called L A Y L A, like uh, Jasmine put it. Yes. So um, that's why we are track. We t we target everybody on our website, Charlotte, but we are actually looking at the youth at the moment, just so we can help them and to bring them. More, yes, I know Quran. Just so that that we can help them and that we can bring them more into. Quran. The religion because a lot of them are just demotivated and they're not getting the help they need subhanallah uh ismail she's learned no more please no uh ismail she's learning quran she, mm, well my mom is learning quran and she's learning arabic um so like yes me. she is ismail um Masha, shaz aman is saying mashallah to you 
Charlotte is saying it's almost 10 o'clock in, in England. I think you were from, or Wales, I think, right, sister? I think so. Um, let me just bring this down a little bit. I can't anymore. It's getting stuck. Um, and I have five more comments and I can't see them. <laughs> this is okay. Uh, so yes, um, that's that's all the articles we want to talk to you because they were our top trending of last week. Okay. So now what I want to do is highlight you to uh, our Telegram group. Now we don't have WhatsApp. Many of you ask if we have WhatsApp. We don't have WhatsApp because of uh, security on there. We we are not able to uh, do it in a way that. No, we, are. we don't have. They don't have WhatsApp. Wait, you'll have to come off my leg now. Come and sit behind me because my leg hurts. You can sit behind me. They can't see me. Well, though. if you sit here, they can. Um, uh, the WhatsApp, uh, because of security and things, we don't have it. But we do have something called, sorry, Telegram. Now, Telegram is a wonderful, similar to WhatsApp. You can, and we, we do put out the top three trending stories a week, a day, sorry, on Telegram. So you can do that and you can subscribe to our Telegram channel. I'm not sure if Sister Tammy is still there because she did have some technical issues. If not, I will drop the link later on into the comments so that you can subscribe to our channel. And um, I want to highlight to you as well our group. We have a group um, on Facebook called about Islam 101 and I will um, oh uh, sister Tammy is there and she will also drop that link you can feel free to come and join us and we post what you know it's a very friendly group in general um, we post you can post what you like you can chat with a chat on the group to people not in private message unless they want you to um, but you can you know post the things on there as you like to help brothers and sisters uh, from all around the world, including new Muslims, mashallah. So Ismail is saying, mashallah. Ahmed is asking, do you speak Arabic? Uh, a little bit. No, a uh, little bit a lot. She speaks a little bit of Arabic. Well, she's having um, she's uh, having lesson lessons. Yes, lessons. so she is having lessons. I have swimming lessons because I don't know how to swim, but I swim like a fish. She does know how to swim. And I and I can do this like a mermaid, you know. Yes. So, so Ismail is from Norway, mashallah, in Oslo. Are, are you having a very cold winter at the moment? Because we are in Canada, it's very cold. It's very cold in my in, in school because when I go in the gym, it's very because I have a gym. It's very cold at the gym, okay? Because hot, very hot. So we all complain to get our jackets off and our mittens, because we wear our mittens sometimes at the gym, but we're not allowed to. But we don't even know, and I think we're not allowed to. And I'll sh this is what a lady gave me to me. And if you see, here's Canada, the purple one. It's Canada. That's where I live. And somewhere in the little one is where I live and where we do Yes, like inshallah. And my mom can carry on talking and then I'll do the next story. Okay. And you can also subscribe to our newsletter yeah. and Sister Tammy will up put you there. And I'll be working as Layla, well. Layla, I can Layla, work. Layla, Layla, let me see mommy, mommy, I can work as well at this laptop. That at mommy's work. I can just do a piece of paper. Sister Tammy will drop you the link now to subscribe to our newsletter. Um, and our newsletter, you will get the trending stories as well uh, of the week, of the previous week. So, be, and it's for free. You subscribe for free. So, please feel free to oh, click on there to subscribe. So, Jace, Max, hi, sister and baby. How are you? We are doing fine, brother. How hi, are you? No, his name's not Baby, his name's Jace. Jace. <laughs> or JC? Yeah. JC, oh, did I say it right? Is If it's JC, is it a man? Yes, it's a brother, it's a brother. Um, JC is for a girl, but I don't want No, it's JC is a boy's name. Because actually I, my friend is Ryan. It's My friend is Ryan, and she actually... Ryan, is your name? 
it's a boy's name, but it's okay. I like that name. Lots of people choose what they want, and JC is a brother, so it's fine. Arabic is a good language. Um, now, brother, mashallah. Uh, Salwa says, mashallah, bless you and your family. Jazakallah. Uh, Halim, she is five, almost six. <laughs> and I think Jewel says, you're the best, Layla. And I do hope that. Thank you! I do hope that she hasn't offended anybody what she's saying. <laughs> JC, she's no, she, you know, she's only nearly six. She doesn't. Look at this, it's spin. Right, everybody, I just want to say that's all from us for this week. No, but I have one more story. No, because it's late and everybody, some people might want to sleep now and we have to prepare dinner I because have, Daddy's coming over my, soon. This one is a short one, a quick, very short one. Oh, well, quickly then. So, this one is about, what's that one? It says, so, okay. So you can, you have friends, don't you? Tell us in the comments. And this is about names, not friends, because I'll do friends next week. So names can be like JC. I think she likes your name, brother, now. <laughs> JC. You like his name now, yeah. right? You should I ask like him. Tammy, like Auntie Tammy. You like Tammy, yes. Yeah. You like Tammy. Tammy. And you like Jules. Yeah, I like Jules, it's a beautiful name. And I like Jasmine. And, and Jasmine, Sophia. yes, and Sophia. I like Emily because when I have a sister, I'm going to call her Emily. I like, like Maggie because I have a cat that's sleeping. She's right on the TV stand and her name is Maggie and she's like sleeping. She just... Assalamu alaikum, Hassan, how are you? I can be in the story because if guys don't know my name my name is Layla Jules know that some of you know my name Salam alaikum alaykum, Ahmed yes Layla is a beautiful name God bless her thank you Look at her, this. brother. no we don't show people our feet wow. because it's not good wow. it's not nice in some cultures to wow. do that because it's not and I told you about that before didn't wow. I uh, so, I think I'm going to let you all go for now. Bye, everybody. Bye, Jules. Bye. Uh, Jazzy, whatever your name is. Jasmine and JC. Oh, you meant Jace, Brother JC. Yeah, yes. Jace. Okay, that, that name stuck in your mind now, hasn't it? So, everybody, I hope you all have a good evening, and I hope Allah blesses you all with a fantastic week. May Allah bless all of our brothers and sisters around the world, Amin. May Allah bless you all with good health and your families I'm as well, Amin. And may Allah help all our brothers and sisters who are in oppressed situations or are in very bad situations. May Allah give them patience to me. endure. May Allah also uh, give them patience to endure and um, may Allah uh, grant those who have died because of oppression um, Just me. paradise. I mean, um, uh, I, I hope that um, we see you all again soon, inshallah. Yeah, um, I'm going to wear my veil next week. And Jazakallah Ke is darling, mashallah, horrible. May Allah bless you. May Allah bless you also, sister. T H A K. And I'm going to leave it there. Otherwise, we're going to be talking to you all night, and I'm sure you all have things to do. So, salam alaikum, everybody. Salam alaikum. Mummy.